This update is much needed on Galaxy Watch 7 series and luckily the update is spotted online. Also we got other two models of Watch 7 series which clear things up about the new budget watch coming alongside the Watch 7 Ultra. So stick till the end to find more and for more updates, don't forget to subscribe. Usually we want a faster charging speed on smartphones and Samsung was not listening to its consumer for faster charging speed like S24 Ultra has the same 45 watt of fast charger but people want it at least 65 watt. Now in smartwatches, Samsung is finally changing the charging speed and in all Galaxy Watch 7 series. According to reports, we are going to see a 50% faster charging speed on Galaxy Watch 7 series including the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Now Samsung gave us a 5 watt with the Watch 4, an update to 10 watt with the Watch 5 series, but Samsung stayed with the 10 watt with the Watch 6 and 6 Classic. But Watch 7 series might feature a 15 watt of charging speed. This would greatly improve the charging speed. Now this charging speed is close to the wireless charging of smartphones. Even S24 Ultra has a 15 watt of wireless charging capability. This indicates Samsung is going big with the Watch 7 series. Now I will talk about the real battery claims for the Watch 7 Ultra but first, the same source claims Watch FE, the cheaper version, will going to get a slower charging speed. Now this has to happen, Samsung has to cut the cost to make it more affordable and this new watch is a remake version of the older Watch 4. So with a smaller battery, we can take a slower charging speed only at 5W compared to 15W on the Watch 7 series. Now you get what you pay for. These all features are confirmed from FCC certification. Would this charging speed affect the Y7 Ultra? I think it will. We are getting a bigger battery and with the faster charging speed, it will be a better user experience. Let's talk numbers about the battery life of the Y7 Ultra which you won't believe. According to the sources, Galaxy Y7 Ultra will last up to 100 hours. This is an extremely big claim because looking at the Apple Watch Ultra, the claim numbers are 36 hours and 72 hours on low power mode. Also, Galaxy Watch 5 Pro claimed battery life was 80 hours. This means it can easily beat the Watch 5 Pro in battery life. Now we also have the battery size of the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. According to Galaxy Club, this battery is spotted on Korean certification and the battery size is 578mAh which is slightly bigger than the 573mAh which was later advertised as 590. Now the expectations are similar with the Watch 7 Ultra since Watch 7 Ultra were going to come with either same 590mAh capacity or they could rate it 600mAh. Among the biggest batteries in the Galaxy variables, this not only compete with the Watch 5 Pro but can easily beat the Watch 5 Pro in battery life and even the internal source once claims so we can expect battery life similar to Watch Ultra or Watch Ultra 2. And in some cases, Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra will last even longer than the Apple Watch Ultra, which is a crazy update. Apart from battery life on the Watch 7 Ultra, Samsung has made the support page for the Galaxy Watch FE live on its official website for Ireland, Latin America and the United Kingdom, with the new model number SMR861. This was already confirmed from FCC certification but now it is official we are getting a cheaper version and might call Watch FE. 2024 is all about Galaxy AI and Samsung is taking the lead with the smartwatches. They are giving us AI features not only to Watch 7 series but previous Galaxy watches including Watch 6 series, Watch 5 and some suggest Watch 4 will going to see the AI features. Now these new AI features include energy score. You can receive a better understanding of your daily condition through a combined analysis of personal health. Second, wellness tips. Helps you to reach your personal health goal by offering insights, motivational tips and guidance based on the specific goal. Third, Samsung is enhancing our sleep AI algorithm to provide additional in-depth sleep insights. Newly added sleep indicators for sleep and size offer you a more detailed and accurate analysis of your sleep quality. Aerobic threshold, functional threshold power, workout routine and many more AI features are coming to the Watch 7 series. To support such features, Samsung is making some big changes through the processor of Watch 7 Ultra. Samsung is going to launch a 3 nanometer processor for the Watch 7 series. Now some people suggest only for one watch and others suggest for all 7 series. But what's so special about this processor? Well, according to the reports, this is the second generation architecture which will going to improve the performance and power efficiency of a new Exynos W1000. 
previous rumors suggest we are going to see a 30% performance improvement and 50% efficiency boost on Exynos W1000. It seems like those rumors got big claims and not true. This new report indicates we are going to see a 20% performance and efficiency boost. Remember, only 20%, but still an improvement over previous generation. It is not clear if Samsung will go with the Exynos W940 for a mid-tier watches and only offer W1000 for the new Watch Ultra. This is a little bit old now, but have you checked the first look of the Watch 7 Ultra? It's weird. This is the first ever look of Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Honestly, when I first saw this device, I was a little bit shocked. Every source before this claiming we are going to see a square display on the Watch 7 Ultra, similar to Apple Watch Ultra. But this is not a square display, but instead a round and squared mixture to add more features in the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Potentially a bigger battery which I'll share in a moment. But first, Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra display is rounded according to the rumors. The overall body of Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra is changed. Before talking about the difference between the Watch 6 Classic and Watch 7 Ultra, let's talk about the key design updates. First, there is an extra button between the two usual button, more like an action button and this should be a programmable button or maybe a button only dedicated for the Galaxy AI. The second big feature is the speaker on the left. These are larger than ever before on Galaxy watches. Now the difference between the Watch 6 Classic and Watch 7 Ultra would be big. This is the thickness of the Watch 7 Ultra, 16.7mm compared to 10.9mm only on Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. It is way thicker and this could be a good news since we might see a new and bigger battery on the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra and could last much longer compared to the Watch 6 Classic. And this is interesting, the display of Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra is similar to Watch 6 Classic. Same 1.5 inches. Let me know, would you go for such design? I would prefer either completely square or rounded display. Now some of you guys might notice or not, Samsung put a somehow rotating bezel on top of a new Watch 7 Ultra. Now at first glance, this does look like a rotating bezel and I think it is. Since the display is rounded as before, which I already mentioned before, Samsung don't want to lose the audience just like what happened with the Watch 5 Pro, so they put out a rotating bezel on top of Watch 7 Ultra. So now this watch can be used from both users, the ones who like rotating bezel and the second one who like to have a bigger batteries. The durability numbers are also out for the Watch 7 Ultra and it seems like Samsung is directly competing with the Apple Watch Ultra because the water resistance and the level it can go is matching the level of Apple Watch Ultra. According to rumors, the Axie Watch 7 Ultra can go up to 100 meter, similar to what Apple offers in Watch Ultra. And this was one of the main selling features of the Apple Watch Ultra. Also, one thing to notice, there is not a single source claiming about the titanium frame on the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Seems like Samsung is not going to change the build, because if they do, by this time, we know about the titanium frame of the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Samsung is launching earlier and the release date of a Z4 6, Z Flip 6 and Watch 7 series is confirmed. According to confirmed sources, Samsung will going to launch all these new devices on 10th of July, way earlier compared to last year, 26th of July for a previous event. On this note, if you find value from this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time till then, peace out.